Hey guys, it's ZMRC Fishing, and today we're going to be showing you how to use a Super Spook Junior. So, the biggest key with a Super Spook Junior is you want to be using your rod with a slack line. Just enough slack line to where that lure switches back and forth, right to left, left to right, quick enough to where it has a very good action. All about the action of that lure. That's what means the most to using it. If you're not able to make that action work right, whether it's the lure itself is defective, or you're just not twitching it right, you're just not going to get fish because these fish want to go after the lure when it's twitching back and forth. That tends to be the best way to catch fish with it. Now, so slack line, twitching the lure. Now we're going to talk about reel speed. You want to reel in at a fast to medium pace. It's all personal preference, but I like to reel almost a fast paced reel. But I kind of want to go just slow enough that I give, a, give that fish a good enough chance to go after it and that I'm going over enough body of water a quick enough speed and a slow enough speed to where these fish can see it. They can see that it looks like something ch getting chased or running away from something. So they'll come up, take a look at it, and probably bite it. So watch all of the clips that I have that I'm going to show you of me catching striped bass today. It's very important to keep an eye on the lure. Enjoy the video. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Got him. That's awesome. That's awesome. On the bass. Took me all day, boys. But we're on him. It's a 13 incher. It's a decent little fish. Oh my gosh. Got him. Absolutely smacked it, guys. He absolutely smacked it. Let's see how big he is. Okay, guys, so what I was doing was I was really searching for these fish throughout the day. Me and a, a friend of mine went out earlier in the day looking for some striped bass we couldn't find any fish the water was decent calmness wise weren't really trying to throw any top water it wasn't really top water time i don't really try to throw in top water until 5 36 o'clock at night or later but um so i went back out around eight o'clock had about 35 minutes of daylight worked the spot me and my my friend also worked yesterday and uh, that ended up working out insanely well. I mean, I just sat in that spot. I waited for a blitz to happen. It was a little windy, but the, the striped bass were trying to blitz. They didn't do too good of a job of actually blitzing, but it was just enough for me to spot the fish and know exactly where to go. And they ended up being right over a sandbar, actually. So I just fished that sandbar, and I was just pulling out 18 to 24-inch striped bass just about every cast. Got him. That's a nice one there. Absolute toad. Absolute, absolute toad just chased it. He absolutely just destroyed it, guys. I'm on the, the top water right now. Let's see how much bigger this one is than the last one. He's definitely a keeper. Oh, 
Let's keep it right there, boys. Game over. Look at this chunk. Look at this chunk. Have you seen a bass like that ever? You guys a 20, 22 inch bass. Three point three pounds. He's messed up. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, he let himself go. So one thing I can tell you guys when it comes to trying to use a uh, Super Spook Junior is also know the location you're in. Also know what kind of water you're gonna be fishing. If it's gonna be rough water, fast waters that really aren't smooth, you don't really want to use that. You'd much be you'd much be much better off using something more of like a uh, pencil popper or a uh, smack it popper since it'll be a little bit harder for the fish to hear the rattling and a little harder for them to see the lure on the top of the surface. Not saying it won't work because that's not true. It was actually kind of wavy out there when I did hook up on some of those fish. But just keep that in mind that it's better to work this when it is nice and calm and pretty much as slick as possible.